Okay, Kira, so it's your last tasks for us. Let's see what you wrote here, okay? Uh, the first one is about green energy. The issue of whether green energy is a safe way to improve uh, the economical situation and solve environmental problems or not has grown in importance over the last few decades. This essay will analyze this problem using examples from Russia um, and turn to prove arguments and support opinions. Well, yeah, okay, but it's missing a little something. Um, specifically, um, you're supposed to give your opinion. So you say that you're going to prove arguments and support opinions, but you don't really tell us what that opinion is. So that's missing for me here, okay? So this essay will analyze this problem um, and support that despite whatever problems exist, uh, green energy is worthwhile, something, okay? And then finish off the rest of your, um, your introduction. Now, in case you're wondering why I insist on this and why I insist on making sure that you address this issue and, and see what your opinion is, it's because look at this in band seven, task achievement. It says, presents a clear position throughout the response. What is your position? Your position is your answer essentially to whatever the command is in the prompt, okay? So if it says that it wants your opinion, you really have to address your opinion. And for it to be clear throughout, it has to be clear from the beginning of your essay. Um, and so to, for it to be clear from the beginning, it has to be in your introduction, okay? So I just want to make that clear so you understand why I insist on that. Yeah. Moving on. On the one hand, construction of renewable energy facilities such as hydropower plant, I can't talk, sorry, hydropower plants, wind turbines, or solar panel systems require particular natural conditions. This might be the reason for the share of green energy in the global energy con what? This might be the reason why the share of green energy in the global energy consumption is much lower than that of fossil fuels, such as oil, coal, and gas. Okay, so you needed to make some changes there. For instance, the Russian military economical develop development noted that in 2017, only 16% of energy that was produced in Russia came from hydropower plants, whereas solar and wind energy plants were almost non-existent. As a consequence, some Experts think that the necessary level of energy security can only be provided by fossil fuels because of how limited the use of renewable energy sources is. Okay. Um, okay. I have to think about this paragraph a little bit. Okay. Do you know what my problem is with this paragraph? It took a very long time for you to get to the point that um, there was a problem with energy security. So this whole time I'm reading the paragraph and I'm wondering, okay, where is Kira going with this? Where is Kira going? And that wasn't really clear until I saw this thing about um, energy security. So that's not really what you want to happen because, again, let's look at, where did that go? Here it is. So, I mean, you have to have a clear... Um, clear central idea of your paragraph. Where is it? So a clear central topic within each paragraph is something you need to get a seven in coherence and cohesion. Um, it wasn't clear, at least not until the very end. So the whole time I'm reading the paragraph, I didn't know you were going with it. So this is why it's really important to have a very clear topic sentence in the beginning of your paragraph to make sure that that um, central topic is clear throughout the paragraph. Okay, um, so in other words, it just needs a little reordering where you need to have a, um, like I said, an, an, addition, an initial sentence in the beginning of the paragraph, which says essentially what the paragraph is about. Um, so something like, on the one hand, um, there is um, justification for the viewpoint that, um, uh, uh, what's what I want? A renewable energy is a threat to energy security. Um, and so then you can kind of talk about this again. But again, you just have to kind of shift the perspective and, and shift kind of your sentences how you write them. Let's go to your next paragraph. On the other hand, although there is a case for green energy not being accessible in some 
places, the role it plays in improving the ecological situation, and the way it benefits us, the economy cannot be overstated. The reason behind this is twofold. First, the renewable energy production does not cause any carbon emissions, reduction of which is crucial for minimizing greenhouse effect and slowing the climatic changes caused by human activity. Secondly, green energy power plants are considered to be cheaper to build and require less maintenance than, not that, for example, oil drills, which significantly reduces the cost of produced energy. In addition, there is no need to relocate them after a certain period of time because renewable energy sources such as wind or tides never run out. Unlike coal, coal or oil, take for example the world's biggest solar panel system that was recently built in China. It is expected to provide electricity for the majority of Beijing for the next 50 years before it needs any renovation. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that green energy largely benefits both the economy by providing the cheaper electricity and the environment by reducing the pollution and the greenhouse effect. Lovely. That's a very nice paragraph. To conclude from arguments S and examples given, I firmly believe that benefits of implementing green energy sources outweigh the possible concerns. It is predicted that more countries will switch to renewable energy in the next 30 years, decreasing the need for fossil fuels mining. Okay, lovely. Um, it's beautifully written, very nice grammar, very nice vocabulary. There were a lot of places where I was reading the vocabulary and I was like, oh, that's so nice, that's so nice. So there were a number of instances uh, where I really enjoyed your vocabulary. It felt very natural, it felt very high level. Um, it was very, very good. What you need to work on, however, is those two areas that I mentioned to you before. Um, the one for task achievement and the other one for coherence and cohesion. Um, because, I, I mean, I would hate for a, an essay that was written so nicely to get like a six and a half, okay? So um, these are some things that I definitely want you to look at and think about and work on in order to um, avoid getting a score like that. All right, uh, let's look at your task two, uh, sorry, your task one. The two maps show the changes in the environment that took place on an island. A forest in the northwest of the island was cut down to make room for apartment buildings near a beach. To the east of them, almost in the center of the island that was previously clear, a shopping mall was built. The road that was constructed around the mall connects it to a restaurant that is located to the northeast of the mall and a hotel to the southeast. Two, not on. The road also runs to a new pier, <coughs> excuse me, on the southern coast. Careful with your spelling. Uh, further to the east from the mall, there is now another group of houses that are built in place of a removed forest. On the eastern coast, to the right of the houses, is an artificial lake. Overall, the amount of land that was previously covered by trees was reduced considerably to about a half of its original size. The majority of the island is now covered by various buildings. Okay, so, uh, grammar, very good. Vocabulary, also very good. Um, there are a couple of things that you didn't mention here that I wanted you to. Let's see. So, um, I felt it was kind of brief. Yeah, I know, it's 161 words. I think you could have said a little more. And there were a couple of things that you left out that you really, I really wanted you to mention. Um, let's see. You didn't mention the footpaths at all. You mentioned something about roads, but you didn't mention anything about footpaths because you have both, okay? And you've got this little scale here, so clearly they want you to talk about both. You didn't talk about the footpaths. That was a little bit of a problem. Uh, I think you could have mentioned the scale of the island. You know, this is, um, this is here for that purpose. You can refer to it. You didn't, and I would have liked you maybe at some point to talk about the size of the island. Or maybe you could have talked about this artificial lake and that it's, you know, however meters large or whatever. Um, the other thing that I really wanted you to talk about, even if just very, very briefly, was this before picture. You didn't talk about it at all, okay? You just went straight into the after. So you kind of indirectly talked about it. You said like, oh, you know, the trees were cut down and this was placed there. But I think you could have at least had a very brief little description of the before. So um, before any construction, the island was X meters long and X meters like in width or whatever, length and width you could have talked about. Uh, and there were trees scattered throughout the, you know, throughout the land. And you could have just said that there was a beach 
of about, what is that, like 80 meters or something, on the western side of the island. Okay, and that's it, just a really short description. Then you could say, after construction, um, many changes occurred. Okay, you could say then, the beach remained. However, um, over throughout the whole western coast of the island, or the whole western side of the island, uh, accommodation was built. Okay? Uh, and then you can talk about the roads, you can talk about all the other things. But I do think it's really important to address this before picture. It's almost as if, imagine if you had two bar charts, or two pie charts, and you only talked about one of them. That would be kind of strange, wouldn't it? So treat this the same way, and make sure you address this before. Um, I already told you that you didn't really talk about the footpaths at all. I kind of wanted you to, even if it was just once by name, just say that, you know, there were roads and footpaths. Um, but other than that, it was a good job, okay? So now, from what I understand, these are our last essays with you. Um, I'm happy with your work, but I do think that there is still some room for you to improve. So. Um, one of the things I'd like to suggest to you is signing up for one of those um, essay courses, uh, not essay courses, sorry, essay correction packages that are offered. Um, I want to see more work from you. I want to see you applying some of the things that we talked about today. Um, I don't know how much time you have before your exam, but I really would like to see you, um, you know, improving on some of those areas. So see if you can sign up to one of those, and um, I hope we get to see more of your essays, okay? Because I'm certain that we can help you um, get to where you need to be. So good luck to you. I look forward to seeing more of your work, and, uh, you know, do let us know how you're doing and what you decide to do. Good luck.